If you've saved drawings out to PDF in the past, then you know that the resulting PDF file can be very large. And the resolution is only average by default, and all your text is converted to dots, which means there's no chance of doing a search, right? With AutoCAD 2010, you're going to find that your PDF file size is practically cut in half, and yet the resolution is higher. And text objects? Well, they actually go across as text objects, which is fantastic. Let's have a look. So here I have an AutoCAD drawing that I would like to turn into a PDF file. So I'm going to use the ribbon. And which tab would I pick, right? For those of you who aren't familiar with the ribbon, pretty straightforward. I'm going to go to Output. And you will actually see, when I hit the Output tab, that there is a great big huge button that says PDF Export. Now, I don't know how much easier you wanted to get that. <laughs> That's pretty simple. But the first time that you decide that you're going to save out to PDF, you might just want to set it up properly. So I'm going to do it the long way. I'm going to go in the Plot command. Once you get it set up, then you can always just hit that great big huge red button. And I'm going to go down to DWG to PDF. And let's take a look at the properties, because there might be some things that you, that you want to change. Now, under graphics, some of you care about merge control. You know, what happens when lines cross? Do you want them to be merged or overwritten? That's completely up to you. Uh, let's take a look at custom properties, because here you'll find all types of information that you can control. So you will see that the resolution in AutoCAD 2010 is 600 dpi for the vectors. In the past, it was 400 dpi, so you can see the resolution has been bumped up quite a lot. Now, you can even increase that resolution to make it higher if you want. You can set it all the way up to 4,800 dpi. Um, pack a lunch, I hope you get paid by the hour. But um, there are other resolutions as well. Just so you know, these other resolutions can never be set higher than the vector resolution. So, but I do want to show you the edit font list. Let's take a look at edit font list. Now this is how your text is going to go across as text so that Adobe can recognize it. Here's a great big huge list of all of the fonts that are supported here. So make sure your font's in that list. And I definitely think you should be transferring them over. So you're going to leave this at, you know, at capture. Include layer information is also on this dialog box. That's up to you. Do you want people to be able to turn on and off layers inside of the PDF? That's up to you. And I love this, open in PDF viewer when done. Because you know what? That's what I do anyway. When I'm done doing the print, I go take a look at it, make sure it's OK before I send it off to my client, right? So I'm going to leave that one on as well. Let's just do a really quick print. Should go pretty fast. And there is my PDF. Let's just take a look at what we have in here. What's, here, what's over here on the left-hand side? These are my layers. And you'll see as I move my cursor down through here that the layers are turning off. There, that's a good one. You should have been able to see that. All right, let's, what else can I do? I can do a search. I'm going to type in the word shop. Why not? You will see it highlighted the word shopping on my PDF. And uh, let's just zoom in on this just a little bit so you can get a good shot. We'll zoom in on it. And you'll see that it has a resolution as a scale factor of 1 to 200. Now, if I were to take this back into AutoCAD, I would want to bring it in at that same scale factor. All right, let's go ahead and close up our PDF. And you'll see that we're back inside of AutoCAD. And it gives me that lovely little bubble in the lower right-hand corner letting me know that it, it, it printed all right and there were no errors, which is nice. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. And, and once again, after you have this all set up, you're just going to hit that great big huge red PDF export button. There's a couple other things you can look at. You know, do you want to print out all layouts or just the current layout? A variety of other options that you can change. But pretty much, very simple, very straightforward. I think you're going to absolutely love the new PDF features inside of AutoCAD 2010.